What's up, viewers? It's James here, and welcome to my 300th video. And I was having to think, and in honor for that, um, and in honor for um, uh, Detective Pikachu coming out, I'm going to do a video of the six Pokemon I would have with me um, if uh, Pokemon were real, uh, like at all times. Um, like, that would be my favourite six. Um, <clears throat> and which one, which other ones I like, uh, as honourable mentions as well. Um, <clears throat> and I had to think about it logically, because if Pokemon are real, and all around the world and all that stuff, and, uh, everyone was going after them, there'd be a very slight chance that anyone... Uh, rich or, or apart from the rich and famous would get legendaries so I have very small hopes that I would get any legendary Pokemon but um, logically um, and if everyone had like a, their own Professor Oak where they could ha leave their Pokemon then that also could work but the six that I would legal I would have because you're only allowed to legally have six on you um Let's start the list. And I'll start the list with my very favourite uh, Pokemon. Marowak. I personally like Marowak. Um, both normal version and a Lolan version. Being a Lolan version is fire and ghost. It's like holy fucking shit. Um, the, I liked... Uh, I like... Um, uh, Marowak for, because of the TV series because um, in uh, one of the episodes where Ash is close to the Johto League he gets stopped by a fellow trainer who has a Marowak and it shows the training regiment that they went through that uh, he was able to train harder be technically nearly immune to water because there was both um, standing under like like was, meditating under a waterfall, and it's like, uh, you're saying, Marowak, you can do your very best, ignore the pain, just go with it, I'm like, okay, good on ya, fucking hell, um, and the fact that it's, it's an evolved form of Cubone, and it's like, the, it's got the mother's skull on his head, it's like, that's fucking rad, it's awesome, um, like, I know, I know it's probably not very high, very big or whatever, but that doesn't matter. Like, it's not all about the size. It's all about how it would work for you. Um, uh, I, I, know, I really like that Pokemon. It, it's awesome. It's, it's adorable. Um, it's hardcore. And like I said, it's one of my favorites. Weirdly enough, electric Pokemon are my favorite types. But, being, but um, Marowak is ground and fire ghost. So it's... Immune to electricity, which is weird on my behalf, but yes. Um, so that's number one. Number two huh, would be... Torterra. The grass turtle from... Uh, Gen 5, I think. From memory, okay. Um, sorry, Gen 4. Um, started off with, as Turtwig, grows up as Grovile. No, not Grovile, sorry, Groddle. And then grows up to be Torterra. Tor 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 Torterra? Yeah. Uh, fucking land turtle. Um, I personally love turtles. Um, the fact that you got to have a turtle in Gen 4, I was like, holy fucking shit, that's awesome. Um, and the fact that it has a tree on its fucking, uh, back. It's like, it'll be, it's fucking huge. Height, wait. So, it's technically seven feet, three inches. And weighs 683 pounds, or 310 kilograms. And so it's, it's basically a humongous Pokemon. And that'd be awesome to have 
because it um it's a starter Pokemon, it's a turtle, and it um it it has its own nature on its back, which is fucking awesome. Um, that is uh, well, uh number two. Um, so we got a ground or technically a fire ghost and a ground grass grass ground. And then um my third Pokemon. Sorry, my third Pokemon. There we go. Kimmy, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There we go. Luxray. When I got the uh, uh, the book, I got so excited. I got the book before I got the game uh, of got the games of um. Uh, Diamond and Pearl, um, just to see what was there, and I saw that you would get an electric cat early on. I was like, hell fucking yeah, a Shinx, and it grows up. Um, uh, Shinx evolves at level 15 to Luxio, and then Luxray at the end, and surprisingly, it's just an electric cat. Being the, the colouring of it, I would think it would be electric dark. But, um, electric cat, fuck yeah, um... One, like, cats would be awesome, and, like, this, if this cat didn't like you, it would let it execute you a bit. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I love the design of it. It looks kind of like, um, it belongs in the Dragon Ball Z universe with the hair and all that stuff. Um, and it's, oh, just, electric cat is all you need to know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Sorry. Mm. Number four. Number four for favorite Pokemon would be Lapras. Lapras is gorgeous. Fucking, if you've watched the animated show in, uh, what was it? The, when, um, uh, Tracy Sketchum comes in, um, uh, some fucking teenagers are beating the shit out of a little Lapras. It's like, fuck you. But it's, it's an adorable water ice Pokemon. It has psychic abilities. There was like a Christmas special where, um, Lapras could communicate with Ash or whatever. And it was, it was, it's one, it's a gorgeous Pokemon. Um, it's it, in the games, you can, um, it has certain events in, uh, the, Johto region where you can catch it on Fridays, I think it was. Um, and it's just like, and it's the way it looks, it's like the Loch Ness monster, but more gorgeous. Um, like you could ride it on the fucking ocean. I was just like, wow, I want one so bad. It's just the, the way, and just like the way it is, it will be, uh, hopefully, I don't want to get ruined by pre evolutions or more evolutions. But with uh, the next gen coming out, hopefully it may have a pre-evolution or something. I don't know how cute you can get, but that would work for me. Uh, Pokemon number five. We're going with another water as well. But this one is also a fossil. Caracacosta. Which I personally love because... Gen 5, yes, uh, you got to choose between a uh, two, like, well, obviously, as you always do in every game, you got to choose between um, the uh, uh, fossils, and one was a bird fossil, and the other one was a turtle fossil, and I'm like, ah, uh, turtle fossil? Um, Karakosa, fucking humongous, beefy bastard, um, it's a water turtle, as, you know, water turtles are, uh, and I just love it because one water turtle. It's it's basically fucking awesome. Um nothing we already to say about that, but um but yeah. And number six. Number six. Number six. Number six. Number six. Number six is Houndoom. A fire dark death dog. It's like, holy shit. <laughs> um, it just, the, uh, 
for that to be in Gen 2 and you could get that early on and it evolves at level 24, I was like, oh my god, that is awesome. Um, the it, it had pretty good fire attacks, pretty good dark attacks. And when, or later on in the games, it uh, mega evolved too. So I was like, holy crap. It's like fucking hell. Um, so, yes, those are my six that I would have out regularly if um, Pokemon are real. The uh, Marowak, Lapras, um, Houndoom, Laxray, Caracosta, and Torterra. Those would be my normal, like uh, my regular six, if I wasn't training or uh, going out on adventures, because obviously you you change for the environment. Um, other honorable mention Pokemon's that I like, um, most because either their typing or uh, the way they're designed, Garvantula, an electric spider. Fucking hell yeah. I was like, holy fucking shit. That is awesome. Um, the uh, Aphromos, an electric sheep. Hell yeah. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck, man? Um, oh, sorry. Hold on. Where is it? 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 Uh, Sharpedo. Oh, there's a dark shark Pokemon. What a dark. And one of its abilities or natural abilities is rough skin. And I had a team that um, basically if you touch them, you would get hurt. You'd either get poisoned or touched by rough skin, paralyzed, burnt. Um, like, because it was like Pikachu, Sharpedo, Chandler, um uh one of the plant uh grass pokemon i was just like i've covered it all my bases like it could be one hit wonders but at least you get hurt too and sharpedo looks like it's a uh, like a shark and a torpedo um the uh empoleon that is a awesome looking one too uh mostly because um uh it's an em Sorry. It's an Emperor Penguin. Um, that was also Gen f Gen 4 with all the starters. I personally loved all of them. It was a gra uh, Grass Ground Turtle. Then it was a Fire Fighting Monkey. And then it was a Water Steel Penguin. And I, I, I tried all, uh, all the eggs to myself in Platinum so I could have all three. I went, uh, sorry, I basically had all my bases covered. I was just like, that fucking works. Um, what else is there? The, my other honorable mentions. Um, Chandelier, Ghost Fire, pretty cool. Um, yeah, they had a uh, flame body, so if you touched it, there was a 30% chance you could get burnt. It was like, that's pretty awesome. Being and also had you know it was ghost and uh, fire and that was pretty interesting for um, Gen five. I was saying like, sweet, 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 sweet. Um, uh, my flying ones. I never had. A, I didn't have a flying one in my top six, but um. Like I said, if I needed to go anywhere, I would change for the situation and all that stuff and, all, and everything. But flying Pokemon, Pidgeot is gorgeous. I loved um, Pidgeot from the show. Um, didn't last long because Ash gave it away, as Ash fucking does. Um, the... Um, who, uh, no... Lugia, that, that, again, but that is a legendary Pokemon. Psychic flying. In all reality, if Pokemon were real, I don't think any of us would be able to be close to any legendaries unless by special circumstances. Um, but you never know. Um, uh, I like Taylor and Swallow. That's because the 
information about Talo is that it never quits, no matter how injured it gets. In the show, it was getting beaten to shit, electrocuted, still getting up. And it's like, dude, you are about to fucking die. When it kept getting up, I'm like, get on your fucking hustle, man. Um, the, what else is there? Um, Talonflame, it was a regular fire flying Pokemon that he caught early on as a fledgling. I was like, yes, I was so excited when they came out. I was like, thank fuck for that. I'll be able to catch it early on, evolve it. And just absolutely love it so much. Um, the, uh, what? Um, um, uh, fighting? No. Like I said, Infernape, because uh, of Fire Monkey. <laughs> um, um, No, um, Dark. Tyranitar, because that looks fucking awesome. It's funny as Lavatar, then Pupitar, then um, Tyranitar. It's just it's the description of it, it moves fucking mountains. So if Google Maps is around in the Pokemon world, you have to change it all the fucking time because Tyranitar just keeps knocking them down. Um... Uh, Cro Crocodile because it just looks like a badass. Um, a dark, uh, what was it? No, uh, dark ground. Uh, uh, awesome typing and everything. Um, uh, just gra a great type of uh, Pokemon. Um, and fucking Hydrogen. A three-headed dragon. I was like, holy fucking shit. That is awesome. But yes. So those are my favourite six. The other honourable mentions are the ones I like. And would, cha would ch change every now and again. That is in honour of my 300th video. Um, and um, for uh, Detective Pikachu. I haven't seen it yet. I will be seeing it in the next couple of days. And doing my review on it. Um, I, but like I said, I've been excited for Detective Pikachu because it looks cute, looks random and, and um, nostalgia for me because, and all that stuff. And I'm more curious about um, the designs of the Pokemon, like who are furry, who are silky, who are whatever, because well, I've seen the trailer, uh, Psyduck looks furry and was like, if you're a water furry Pokemon, you're going to stink like shit, like ew. But um, what Pokemon... What six Pokemon would you guys have if Pokemon were real? Like, in your just chilling out phase or whatever. Like, I know, like I said, I know for the situations, if you're training or whatever, you would change them daily. But or if you're just hanging out at home or whatever, what six would you just hang out at home with? Um, and, yeah. Yes. So, like, share, subscribe, and remember, you got to catch them all.